Hello, this is Kerry Martell, editor for The Animal Advocate. A little bit dressed down today, but this is important enough. I need to get this information out there. So this is sort of an update to my previous article about the uh, forum, uh, the panel uh, for people the, of the community to ask questions of those involved with the uh, Newburgh High School Wellness Center. After the panel, I... Uh, mostly to protect myself, to be honest, because I was surrounded by a bunch of people who hated my guts, uh, put my phone on record mode and slid it into uh, my jacket pocket. Um, and during uh, that uh, time I was still in the building, I was having a conversation with um, Isaac um, Etherington. He's the communications uh, person for the school that was recording the live stream. I was having a conversation with him when Elise Holloman uh, herself approached me and engaged in a dialogue with me, a discussion. Um, there are some things that she said that I think that the public should hear um, because I think uh, there's, uh, there's a couple of reasons, right? Firstly, she acknowledges that um, she also agrees that Progressive Yamhill is an extension of the Yamhill County Democrat Party. This is, of course, important. Her opinion of, about it is important because she's been a longtime member of the group. She's a city councilor. She's someone that they helped, you know, uh, get elected. Um, so it's very important if she also agrees that it is. Um, so now people can't just say, like, Carrie is just, this is his, Carrie's opinion, unsubstantiated, blah, blah, blah. Here we have a longtime member of the group who also agrees with my assessment that it's an extension of the Yamhill County, um, Yamhill, uh, County Democrat Party. Such a mouthful, isn't it? Um, secondly, uh, I know there's going to be some people that are like, how dare you publish something that was off the record? Well, I wasn't actually off the record. Like, what even is off the record, to be honest? Like, you're having a conversation with somebody, you're admitting certain things, and this is off the record. Uh, no, it wasn't off the record. She never asked anything to be off the record. In fact, we we're having this conversation in a public place where you have no expectation of privacy or sensitivity, certainly not telling the person who is investigating you, who's accusing your side and, and your group of engaging in unethical, possibly illegal activity. Okay, so there's like nothing here is sacred inf secret information. Okay, it's information that I think the public deserves to know because it involves public officials, it involves publicly funded things like the schools, it involves the lives of children, right? Like if Progressive Yamhill. And everything that they're doing, a lot of which involves the Newburgh schools, right? they're organizing the recalls, uh, they're behind this, the critical race theory policies, they, they created the wellness center in the first place, okay? These are all things the public deserves to know. And I'm getting a little bit long here. I'm going to shorten it up here. Um, there's another thing you're going to notice during the conversation where Elise offers to uh, talk with me uh, officially on the record and address a lot of the claims I've made in my articles that she says that she disagrees with. Um, she didn't specifically say that she disagreed with anything in particular, I guess. She just didn't like the way... Um, I think she just didn't like the investigations I've done on her. Um, the important thing is that I did reach out. It has now been over a week since I offered to uh, meet with her via Zoom and, and let her re respond to my articles, to say um, what she disagrees with, what she thinks is inaccurate and should be corrected. And I was willing to update my articles to include that in there, but she, it's been over a week now and I have not heard anything back from her. So I, uh, I'm not going to keep sitting on um, this piece of information anymore. I was going to give her an opportunity to expand and elaborate on uh, why she thinks Progressive Yamhill is an extension of the Yamhill County Democrat Party and talk more about that and her, her other viewpoints. But since she doesn't seem to want to do that, even though she says she did, uh, I'm just going to publish this and let the chips kind of fall where they may. All right, guys. Um, hope that you guys get something out of this and you feel informed in a way that you haven't been informed in the past. That's what I'm trying to do with the advocate. Uh, it's very obvious that other media around here is just not reporting the full truth of the situation and all the facts to people. And I'm trying to do that with the annual advocate. So now you can uh, listen to the, um, listen to the recording.
Oh, good. Oh. Hey, Lee. <laughs> good job. You help me in full sweat. In <laughs> full what? Sweat it. Sweat? Yeah. You're making her earn it today, man. Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't oh. trying to say, I, I was just trying to get you to to address what you were trying, like, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to ask questions. Because yeah. I didn't come here to debate. You know but what you, you guys you are doing. No I came here to ask questions. With misinformation. Don't make it slander. Well, all you have to do is call me. But it, that, it makes me feel like you just don't actually want to because I have been super upfront with. Like I told Becky, I'm like, give him my cell phone. I'll take his phone call. I'll answer okay. every question he has. I appreciate what you said too so, so, about both sides. Just to you know, since yeah. I'm standing right here, about both sides of getting into that fight. Totally. It's really well, gets start. very ugly. Yeah. So I've been asked a question by others. And my answer is the same. If you posted it and you wrote it, why do I need to ask you? Oh, I stand by everything I've posted. I, sure. I think that we have different definitions for what, and that's what I was trying to say about the treatment, right? Like, treatment to you is different than what treatment to me means, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually important to acknowledge, especially in this type of scenario. Care versus treatment, totally different. But to you, you're like, no. Okay, so, Rightfully so. Have you ever wrote to me and said, I don't agree with your definitions for the things I, I said? I don't engage on okay. Facebook. No, but I really we have don't. an email address, though. Other people have used it, and I've okay. updated. I've put a little update so this person said yes. You know, if they've said it on Facebook, I've screenshotted that and embedded it in the article. Just to be really honest with you, when this all started, I mean, I had to have my full house. <laughs> I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to be a vulnerable with you for a second. Okay. My whole house outfitted with security because I had people casing my house because of the original article you put out. And, you know, a little, like, so it's triggering to me. Like, it's, I, my whole, my whole family was scared for me. The police were down the street watching my house because of threats I got from the article you put really happened. I never told anybody to threaten you guys. But that's not right. I my know, responsibility. It's, it's, it's knowing the environment. I'm a, I agree. You, I, I believe that. But it's the environment we live in that's so hyper polarized on both sides, right? Like the left, same thing. I mean, do you know the amount of shit I've gotten from the left? From. Or this, even engaging with people yeah, on the right? From being friends with Rose? I mean, to being friends with Becky. A little bit of stress. Right? Like Becky and I have become good friends. I would consider her a good friend. Through everything we've been through, are you referring to Becky Wallace? Yeah. Trying to understand you, me, you know? so I, I just, I want a pathway forward. I, I just. That's awesome. I, and these conversations are great because I'll tell you, yeah. Rose and I are experiencing the same thing at our I house. Know. We are, we have hate. Uh, and I told her, you call me. We're not death threats, but pictures of people loading guns on Facebook and all these people. Are you know, serious? Uh, this has just gone yeah. too far. Yeah. It's yeah. just like. Yeah, it's unacceptable. A lot of the it's people, uh, you know, I agree with you that should not be doing that. People right here in the community. Which is, which is why I criticize it when people do things like post Dave Brown's house and complain about his sons. I know, it's like, we just need to all get together and talk about stuff. I, I will reach out if I see something that I want corrected or at least change. And you also feel free. You have my cell phone now and my email. Feel free anytime. Sure. That's awesome. That's good. That's what it's all about. That's good. Communication. You don't have to like me. I'm just saying. You can get a hold of me. That's fair. That's fair. You've always been able to reach out. People have reached out, and I've made little adjustments. Articles are kind of long, so maybe they're buried in there, but they're there. I echo. I love what Dave said. That was awesome. I, you know, it's about the kids. And you know what's really cool? Maybe this Online. is the healing place. We're, We're going to do it. We're going to do it. As Dave was saying that, yeah. Kristen Stoller was going, wow, that's, that's pretty. There's a there's a, there's a we bridge. We better tell him that. There's a bridge right there, you know? The but so why did you publish what I wrote in when I was 19 years old? Yeah. Yeah. It's relevant. It's relevant? That was literally what my media professor gave us content. Do you think I would write about the Little Mermaid? No. My media professor gave us the content and said write about it as a 19 year old kid and you're blasting me all over. Like, come on. That was a little far. I could have given you a lot better dirt than that. You would have just called. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. You've She's offering to give you for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, we got it. We probably not her best interest. Yeah. We got to start Probably not your best interest to do that. Yeah. No, I, I'll, I'll tell you why. I read, I found the blog, and it matched a lot of the conversations 
I'm reading inside that group, some of which you're participating. I was DEI before DEI. That's what you should have said. Elise Darnell was doing DEI before DEI. What, what is DEI? You guys use so many Diversity, academics. equity, inclusion. Uh, <laughs> it literally was a media class of my college. Yeah, but, and guess, I mean, get this. First time I'd ever heard what a blog was. It was about learning how to blog, and then you blast me for that. I'm going to email my professor. So are you saying that you don't oh, yeah. agree with the things that you wrote anymore? Do you agree with everything you, you did free, at the age feel of Feel free to write down what you no longer believe and I'll update right, the right. article. Sure. I'll update the article. Cool. Hey, Man, legit. I'm so glad no one looks at like what I was like in high school. Thank goodness we didn't have like, the social media like, stuff back then. I would be... Like, wow. I would not be working where I work now. That's why do you care what I thought when I was 19? That's just... That's me. Well, it explains why you joined a group like Progressive Yam. Well, in my opinion. Also, I'm so confused with your fascination of Progressive Yam. What is it anyway? I mean, like, what are you confused about? What? What are you confused about? Do you think it's like Antifa or something? I, when you said like, oh, coin and all that, I don't even know what that is. You literally provided funding to a group that was Rose City Antifa. I did not. Well, not you, but other members of the group. Who okay. sold those flags provided funding that ultimately went but in the, you also to that direction. Are friends with people that I, shit, I know, am I not. I mean, not like that. Listen, so no. nobody knows what that stuff is, though. I mean, like that. You, it's a you did. Because you go dig, connection. dig, dig, and you find that oh, that they did this that for the, the teeth. But most people likes, don't. Yeah, I know that. Like, right? And not that know. But the members of this group are particularly part of the chapter of indivisible.org. It's a little bit different. It's not like it's a, it's not like it's a group that just anybody can join. In fact, to get into the group, we had to pretend to be somebody else. So we were supposed to be in the group. I never literally, I've literally never had one conversation with anyone in Indivisible. You are literally in Progressive Yan Hill, which is a registered chapter on their website directory of yeah. Indivisible. But Indivisible does a lot does a lot of things that are not extremist. Same with the Republican Party. Same with the Democratic Party. But I think we the all extreme have extreme things, groups within our group. Yeah, but the Republican Party is funding the attack on the federal courthouse in Portland, which is what the sale of those flags went to funding. But the Republican Party participated in the insurrection. No, that was that was not the Republican Party. That was a extremist, that a different group of people that are Republican. Not funded by the, some of them are Republican, some of them are independent, some of okay, them are part of a point. dozen different minor that political I should parties of little significance. But that's very different. I'm not talking about what somebody else hypothetically did. I'm talking about what actually occurred in Progressive Yam Hill. I think or with Progressive Yam Hill, the one thing that I would tell you. Several members bragged about going to the courthouse riots themselves. I showed that. So. Hi. But all I can say is like with Progressive Yam Hill, like sometimes when you're like, look at the connections here, I'm like, yeah, no shit. They're all liberal, man. Like I think we all, like we all know. We're yes, we're all connected. We all have liberal views. I would not consider myself a progressive. I lost my election because I'm not progressive enough. You're in a group called Progressive Yam Hill. So you can talk about, you know, my perspective on this side of the aisle and that side, but you are in a group that the average person would consider to be progressive, to use that term. Sure, but there's 1,300 people in that which, ha which is a registered chapter of Indivisible. It is. Which has a thread by Megan Corvos. Has a thread by Megan Corvos for people to take. Daily alerts and actions on behalf of Progressive Yam Hill, which you are you one of the first. You're one of the first five you people to say to sign up for that list. Totally, I would not deny that. And guess what? Because I'm a, I'm a so Democrat. You. I'm gonna bow out now. Good, Bye. thank Good you. Time. Nice to meet you. So how is Carrie? Give Rose a hug. Thank you. Um, but you can't tell me that I the Republican, I also love it. the Republican Party doesn't have a way to get signs up. James Goings, literally in two days, can have signs across all Yamal County. It's called an alert system. Okay. He messages out. They all have signs. That's true, but Progressive Yam Hill is claiming that it's non-extension of the Democrat Party operations. Okay, so I'll go with you on that. So I that's, think that's a totally wrong. different situation. Okay, I will go. You're right. I would go with you on that. I 100% think that Progressive Yam Hill is an extension of the uh, the Democrats. Okay. All the way up. See, look at that. Yeah. We're good on one thing. I appreciate that honesty. I totally agree. Okay. Everything else that you said. You can All right. Well, I gotta go because Mike is like. But sure. thanks sure. for coming. I appreciate no. the hard questions. I appreciate the answers. Message me if you have more. Sure. Okay.
Good luck. Okay, to wrap things up here, so it's it's a bit long of a video, okay? But you get the point, right? Like, there's definitely, um, she definitely agrees that with my assessment of what progressive the Amhill is. It's a chapter of Indivisible. It's extension of the Amhill County Democrat Party uh, activities. The important takeaway from this is that everybody else, you know, in progressive Yamhill goes, oh, no, it's, it's to we're totally nonpartisan, blah, 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 blah. But the reality is that they're not, okay? It, it's ran by officers of the Yamhill County Democrat Party. Um, they, they use the members of the group as kind of a volunteer force to do canvassing, to organize petitions, to get them all to show up to city council meetings. When they, when someone who's a progressive Yamhill member knows there's going to be a vacancy on a committee or a city councilor is going to resign, they go right to that group and they say, "Hey, who wants to who wants to apply for this committee? Who wants to be the next city councilor?" Right? Like they they use it to organize their activities. Okay, let's be clear on this. Uh, the only reason, like they got Sal Peralta, who's the president of the Oregon Independent Party, right? But like, as I previously published an article, uh, he's there, you know, in the group talking about how to flip independent voters to be Democrat. Okay, so he's not really independent. Okay, they just have created this thing, astroturf people. Um, it's pretty diabolical, to be honest, what they're doing. And I don't think it's right. It's very unethical. They should be a lot more transparent about the fact that all these little packs. Okay, save Yam Hill County. All right, and all their stuff. Um, these these candidates for nonpartisan uh, positions, they're all handpicked by you know the members of uh, this Facebook group that is operated by the Yam Hill County Democrat Party. Okay, and the, all the funneling of money to things like Antifa, that's an extension of their activities too. Okay, so. You can't really get around this stuff. This is the facts of the situation. The fact of, of the matter is that they have went completely off the rails as a political party. And it doesn't matter if you're Republican or you're independent or you're libertarian or Democrat or whatever, okay? The facts are what they are. The fact of the matter is the Yamhill County Democrat Party has engaged in a lot of bullshit they shouldn't have been doing as a political party. They've been caught red-handed. And instead of just admitting that they were doing this stuff, apologizing profusely, having their members uh, resign from public office as penance, they just want to keep the charade going. And it's not right. And that's, I'm going to just keep reporting the truth about them until enough people um, start holding them accountable. And by holding them accountable, I don't mean you know casing their houses and stuff. Okay, What I'm talking about is legal vote them out of office okay organize recalls against these people get them out of there all right don't fall for their tricks when they try to organize recall campaigns against the other side who aren't part of their little clique okay the little tribe of zealots don't fall for their tricks and their subterfuge and they're you know just blatantly lying about people for not being on their team and harassing them uh, don't let them cancel people's businesses, okay? D don't fall for their crap anymore. It's just very simple. It's really not that hard to hold them accountable. Just stop believing them. They are the, you know, the boy who cried wolf here. They have been lying to people repeatedly for years about what they're doing for their own personal gain of the people who are part of the group. And part of their gain is, you know, being able to get their political agenda out there, but some of it's also financial, as I've been showing in my articles. So stop falling for this crap, all right? I don't know if Holloman really wants to get along with people or not. I don't know if liberals are really mad at her or not. That's what she says. Who knows? What I, what I, what I am confident about is that um, I don't think that people that continue to defend the activities of a group like Progressive Yamhill are completely uh, distance themselves from it. They're still, in my mind, uh, championing the group. They're defending them, you know, what they're doing. It's not right. And uh, if they really want to, to heal the divides in the community, you don't do it by blaming me for causing the hurt. I didn't cause the hurt by showing what the hell people have been doing for years in secret against their neighbors, okay? That, I didn't cause the hurt. I exposed who's responsible for creating the hurt, in my opinion. 
So I apologize for nothing. My reporting is going to continue until those people either hold themselves accountable for the cause, for the things that they've caused, or the other people in the community hold them accountable by removing their ability to continue to uh, harass people using political positions. So um, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.